Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 33 of Darwell20's Stone Block series. Last episode, we had a little bit of fun with some power flowers. That's what we set up between episodes. Well, last episode. Um, so we, we, we did something different than I've ever done before, obviously, because back in the day when we had Project E or Equivalent Exchange 2 as it was, uh, you didn't have access to blocks like the Phantom Face and actually editions. I don't think there was anything that worked that way. Um, the closest we had, which I think was more after the Equivalent Exchange days, uh, was a block from a Thumbcraft add-on mod authored by Vasky. Um, so this kind of changed the way that, that power flowers can work because then we can have a, uh, the, the chest in the middle completely and entirely surrounded by, uh, antimatter relays and collectors, which is cool. So cool, right? Yeah, it is. That's what's up. So uh, right now we're collecting copia. Oh my goodness, that is a stupid amount of dark matter. Uh, hilariously large amounts of dark matter. Um, it looks like we're producing a piece of dark matter every couple of seconds here. I mean, it's just, come on right in. Like, what is it about a piece of dark matter every second or two? That's not bad. That is not bad at all. This thing's going to overflow. That's what's going to happen is we're going to back up this iron chest at some point. Um, so the dark matter pedestals here are obviously speeding things up, uh, courtesy of the Watch of Flowing Time, which is a shenanigans level item. It is hilarious how messed up that item is. It is super broken. Because, like I said before, right, some, some mods choose to gate things by time, and that overrides that, right? Like, it, it increases the flow of time for a local area. Um, so really cool, really fun. We've got lots of EMC now. Um, so our next stage of this design... Uh, I think is going to be built around these guys, the neutronium compressors. So in order to progress, right, our, our goal here is to make a tablet from Project E. In order to get that, the biggest challenge here will be infinity ingots, which, as we can see from extreme crafting, require a lot of neutronium ingots, which we have auto-crafting, and crystal matrix ingots, which we also already can auto-craft. But infinity catalysts, there's your challenge, right? Those are all the things that we need to get. And basically each of these guys um, is going to be a ton of stuff. So like redstone singularities, those are 12,600 redstone blocks. Uh, and nether quartz singularities, 11,400 uh, nether quartz blocks, right? And yada, 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 yada. Um, so we are in a, around 12,000, give or take, uh, of each type of block. The most that we have of anything is blocks of quartz. And we have uh, about 10,000 of those. So we're getting close to enough blocks of quartz only from our chickens, which is pretty cool. Now, are we still gaining nether quartz here? We are. You can see it happening up there. Nether quartz, it's going like plus one, plus two, etc. That tells me that we haven't hit the point at which this drawer will start voiding things. I'm not entirely sure what that point is. We might be getting close. We might not. I'm not super sure, but we'll figure it out. What we are going to do um, is probably ramp up the production of all these things. Um, so to do that, there's a few things we're going to want to do. We're going to want to drastically increase our production of, uh, of resources. Now, we're going to need a lot of these. Uh, my initial goal, when I, what I kind of said last episode, is ideally we could do something where we're producing a lot of the blocks that we need in order to, to get this through some non-super EMC method, but I think that's a little bit uh, aggressive on my part, because we need eight of these infinity ingots to make this thing, and we need like uh, 11 infinity catalysts. So we need 12,000 blocks of each metal, times eight, times 11, and then we have enough to make the tablet, <laughs> which is ridiculous, ridiculous. Even with what we've got going on here, this EMC production may not be a sufficient amount, right? Like we're making, copious amounts of EMC, but that might not be quite enough for what we need. So what I'm thinking we do, first off, we're going to want to get some form of chicken production going for each of these different types, right? So let's see what we've got already. So first off, let's make sure that we have a lot of seeds because we're going to need to breed some chickens. Um, and I'm trying not to do like I already stated. I don't want to do 
uh, this thing where we wind up just like spamming emeralds. Because the, the easy way to do this would just be to have a room full of emerald chickens producing emeralds all day long and converting them into DMC. That'll work, but it'll be kind of boring, I think. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking with it. So what we're going to do is make sure that we have all the different chicken types that we need. So to check out an Infinity Catalyst, right, um, we need iron first, which we clearly have iron chickens somewhere in here. That's this dude, right? So let's get him going to the point where he's going to uh, breed for me and uh, do what I need you to do. So now can I just this? Nice. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you can go back in there, mister, and make your chickens. I feel like I should probably not be doing this in the room where all the other chickens are, because that's going to start happening really quickly. So what I'm thinking I'll do is grab this chicken breeder and go somewhere that my um, watch won't affect other things, really. Um, so we've got lots of areas in the base that we can probably tap into. Let's bring out Mr. Destruction Gadget. How are you, my good sir? Oh, you're doing good? I'm glad to hear it. Um, over here might look like a good place to go. So what is your... Let's get you up one and down... Well, actually, I want you to be down one, up zero. Let's go about 12 blocks deep. Does that sound fair? Um, and in here will be my protected area for what we want to do. So for that, we're going to want to go... Uh, Left three, right three. That should be cool. That should be a nice little area for us, right? Um, and hopefully the range here works. Yay, it does. We'll get ourselves a Feral Flare Lantern, because this is our new friend. Lights up all the things. Good job, Feral Flare Lantern. You're great. Um, so now I should be able to sit over here and breed chickens all day long, right? Um, and this room might wind up being where we have a lot of the chicken production going, right, to make a lot of the stuff. So first things first, um, we know, let's, let's get a list of all the different chickens that we need, right? Because I'd like to, at the very least, have one of each chicken that we need to produce these resources. We're going to have the chickens producing them, and then we're going to ramp it up with the help of EMC, right? So we'll, we'll use Project E to supplement the chickens because they will very much need it. They'll need the help, right? So uh, looking at the Infinity Catalyst, right? We are totally going to need uh, gold, which I think we've already got that chicken. I remember, we got upset that he, uh, you know, is, is not the greatest chicken because he makes nuggets instead of anything else. But there's my gold chicken, right? So we're going to want more of you, OK? Um, I'll leave them here, the 14, and that's what I'll bring with me, right? Uh, next thing we need for Infinity Catalyst is Lapis. I don't think we have a Lapis chicken. I'm almost certain we don't. So, oh, we do have a Lapis Blue. Look at you. Great. Okay, cool. Um, come here, you. So Lapis Blue chicken. Uh, just needs a Lapis Blue egg, which we can get right. Yeah, that's right. That sounds good to me, right? How are you for Lapis, buddy? I feel like I should probably at least... Hello. It's Roost, right? Uh, where's that chicken wand thingy? We'll just make a new one because I don't know where my existing one is. It's probably inside my bag, but for now... That'll do, right? And we've got a few Lapis Blue Chickens to breed with. Uh, I might as well. Okay, no more. Cool. So let me get all the chickens I need. Um, we may have to breed a few. In fact, I would be really shocked if we didn't. Because uh, I know we've got a few things. But I need to breed the, the, the Lapis ones up. Redstone? We've got Redstone Chickens, right? Yes. So that's cool. Um... What else do we need here? Nether quartz. We have nether quartz chickens. 
So half of these we already have, which is cool. So again, I'm just gonna steal two of you. And some of these we don't have to worry about breeding, other ones we will, right? Iron we already bred, gold we're good on. What else do we have? Diamond, okie dokie, we've got a couple of them, right? Uh, the other one is going to be emerald, we already have them. Wow, I am lucking out so far. Uh, what I should do is maybe throw them into some kind of bag, right? So you guys can chill in here and we'll just put all the chickens away for a minute so that we have access to them as we need. Well, we're, we're gonna bring them to the other room. Uh, copper and tin. So we have tin. Right, so that's cool, but I don't know if I have a copper chicken, do I? I don't think so. So copper chicken's gonna be on my list, my to-do list. So let's just note here that we need copper. What else do we need? I'm sure we're getting to the point that we don't have as much. Uh, lead, I'm almost sure we don't have, and silver. Lead, silver, nickel, and fluxed. Uh, now these things we only need one block of each so we don't have to worry about automating them with chickens too much They should be easy to make right so we only have to breed five sets of chickens That's not bad considering that purely by luck most of the chickens that I need I've already bred and we might even have a few of these in here, right? Um, log coal bone white refined iron snowball flint glass red Diamond, yellow, sand, nether quartz, and cactus green chickens. All right, so I don't have any other chickens that I need. Hey, there's my chicken, dude. All right, let us uh, let me breed the chickens that I do need. I'll do that mostly off camera, like we'll pop in and out as I'm doing it, and we'll be right back. All right, so the only resource that we don't have access to in chicken form is fluxed chickens, unless I'm missing it, but I'm not seeing anything that looks like fluxed ingots coming out. So we have fluxed electrum seeds, so we can do seeds, right? But we can't do the chickens. So we have a mystical agriculture way of getting these, but not a chicken. So we might need to, uh, you know, think of something. I think we could manage it though, right? There's there's ways that we could make this work and we will have to just do that uh, because it's our only option because there's no chickens for them. All right, so I've got all the uh, prerequisite chickens. Believe it or not, I only need a few colored chickens and I'm good to go. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get them breeding over here as we speak. All right, so the first one I need is a copper chicken, right? And to get him, I need yellow and brown, and brown is green and red. So we put the green and red in there, we turn on our watch, which should not be affecting anything else, and I can also hit you with my wand, and that's pretty quick. Quicker than it would be without the watch, right? Feels, oh wait, do I need Eternalist Fuel? I'm, Store DMC is there. Yeah, definitely faster than it would be otherwise. Definitely faster. All right, so uh, to work I go. Be right back. You know what's an even faster way to make this happen? Get three Dark Matter pedestals and put it in this room. Because we're probably going to be doing that anyway at some point. Come on, brown chicken, let's go. Red plus green equals cocoa brown. Yay, cocoa brown, that's what I needed. Okay, so then you, for the copper chicken, uh, will be yellow plus brown equals copper chicken. Cool, so that's pretty quick. So we just need to get two copper chickens and we breed them up to 10, 10, 10, and then we'll be good. Cool, so I guess we will be right back. So I've gone ahead and doubled my production speed. Currently working on silver 10 10 10s and nickel 9 10, or 10 10 10s. Um, so we're getting there. Making progress. It's interesting how you can see them actually like, you know, breeding a little bit faster and slower based on the... Actually, I don't need any more of you. You're cool. So 16 of you then. And you're an extra. And how are you guys doing? 16 of you, perfect. Right, so here's my 10, 10, 10 category down here. Here's a chicken I need to breed up because I didn't, he's, I have lapis, but I didn't breed him up to 10, 10, 10s yet. And here's all the chickens I've produced in the breeding. Uh, so we're making progress. So the next one I have to do, actually that's it. I just have to get lapis going and then we should be cool, right? So I moved all you guys out. So we've got, um, all of them at the 10, 10, 10 stage, except Lapis. So why don't I get him breeding? 
And while that happens, I can probably just void out all these other chickens. I have a trash can, right? Yeah. Cool. All right, back in a minute while we wait for our chickens to breed. All right, so that should be a healthy amount of chickens. Seeds, I need more seeds. Super close. <laughs> uh, I just wanna get a, a stack of 16 of these lapis chickens and then we'll be cool. But they're easily rebreedable, which is cool. Um, and we can make many more chickens as needed, which is also cool. Yeah, watch a flowing time near the refined storage system kind of works, but also like makes it a little bit derpy. Totally a thing that happens that you want to watch out for. Hooray, 16 of you guys now. I can avoid the extra two that I got by mistake, but that's all right. Uh, the only other thing left to do will be to, do to, to get these guys up to 16 stacked. So like we already have them, so we just need to get more of them. Cool. So I'm going to get these guys up to a stack of 16 each, and we'll be right back. And I think we're cool. Nice. All right. So there are, in theory, all the chickens that we need to make the Infinity Catalyst, right? Uh, so again, Infinity Catalyst. We're just going to review this. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 singularities. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13 being the fluxed one, which we're going to have to do with mystical agriculture if we want. Um, but that said, we're in cool shape. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, you guys totally mystical agriculture is your only chance to survive. Fair enough. So now I think our uh, next plan should be to remove you guys for the time being. Right, uh, and what we're going to want is to turn you off because you're pretty much done being a thing that exists over here. Uh, we are going to want roosts from roost, which in theory should have an EMC value. So I should be able to say, hey, give me a stack of roosts. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Project E, you are so OP. Sorry, it's a fact. It really is. It's a, it's a literal scientific fact. So that's seven. That's seven, right? Um, and if we wanted to, we could probably remove you. So that would be 12, right? Which is how many we need. I think that's a smart idea. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so then what I'm gonna want is a drawer for each one of these, boom. Right, so now, right, like, can I get it so that you're doing that? Now, what I'd also like to do, let's do this. Can you left zero, right zero, up zero, down one, depth six? Sounds good to me. Yeah, that was good. All right, cool. Perfect. Okay, beautiful. So what I'm thinking is we extract out the back, compress them some way directly into uh, a thing, and then pipe them into the basic drawer, right? Um, so blocks... Right, of iron, for example, can be made in a packager, bulk packaging with custom recipes. I like that. Never tried that before. I want it to auto output or auto input, one of those two, um, if we can. Right, compressor, factorizer from thermal expansion, which might be a cool way to go. Factorizer from thermal expansion is probably the easy way to go. Let's go over here and see what's involved in the cyclic one, but factorizer is probably where I want to be. To be fair, I've never used that one either. So you need one of these, which means you need one of these, which means you need one of these, which means I'd like you to know how to make them. Thanks. Which means you need one of these and one of these. And then you can make this. And hopefully you have an AMC value. Yeah. 
Now in theory, here's what I'm thinking, right? So we're also going to want, while I'm here, did I put servos in here? Do we have servos? Can we put servos in there? We can for the reinforced. How about you? You have an EMC. You also have an EMC. Ha 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 love it. All right, um, and then item ducks. These don't have an EMC, right? That's okay though, because we can auto craft them as needed. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Can I set you such that the down is blue and that? And then we will need you. Right, mode combine, mode split. Yeah, combine is where we're at, right? So I don't really think it matters what chicken we put where. Uh, so we'll just throw a nickel in here, because why not? Boom. And you're making blocks of nickel all day long. How cool is that? Right? Um, so what I'm also going to want to do is make sure that we do anything we do is going to have these separated. Cool. Okay. Um, like that. Do we have red prints? We're gonna want one of these. Cool, and that copies the configuration settings. Excellent. And then you, Cool. With me. And then we do something very similar over here. And you're going to be down and right. You're good. You're ignored. You're ignored. You're ignored. Ignored. Wrong. Ignored. Perfect. Cool. And then we just put our chickens in there, right? So you can go away, and you can go away, and the extra roosts, and the flux ducts, and the chicken catcher, and the phantom connector, and the assembler, and all these other things that I don't at the moment and go away so that I can get out all my chickens that I do want, right? And we'll just kind of put whatever wherever, right? So you're gonna show up and make diamond blocks. You're gonna show up and make nether quartz blocks. Good, you're smart enough to do nether quartz the proper way. You're gonna make tin blocks. You're gonna make lapis blocks. Ha 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 ha. You like it? I think this is a nice design, right? Copper, iron, lead, emerald, Gold, redstone. Oh, that's right. You do gold. I hate you so much. You need to. You need to have another factorizer here. I wonder what I. Oh, you know what I got an idea. Got an idea. Hold on. Everybody, panic. I mean, nobody panic. Stupid gold chicken. Might want more gold chickens just so he moves at the same speed. All right. Let's get another basic factorizer. I'm hoping you can auto import. And if that's the case, then what I can do right? Um, so you stop. Oh, hey, you are auto-importing. Neat! I just need you to do that. And now we've got a gold one up there. Ha ha! Perfect! Gold blocks are working Sweet. Um, might even want. Bear with me here. Bear with me. Can we just like speed this up? Let me borrow you guys for a minute. Um, actually, I think you're in here. You are. Hey, 
hey, today I learned that's an even number. <laughs> cool. All right, so you go in there. Breeder, go away. Give me two extra roosts. Auto importing as well. Oh, you're outside the radius. Oh, you're outside the radius. Oh, epic fail. Epic fail. Dire, please. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. But you are outside the radius. Uh, which makes you an epic fail. Oh, man, if you were only inside the radius, it would just be a little bit cooler. But that's all right. We'll just have to do it, too. I think that's what we'll do, is we'll just do it, too, right? I think that's fine, right? That's fine. I think that's fine. Somebody tell me that's fine. I mean, technically, I could put another factorizer here, right? But I don't think I'm going to do that. Cool. There we go. So we're making lots of locks. We already have 16 stacks of nickel, which we started a little bit earlier than the rest. Some of the others, like quartz, we've already filled up quartz. Quartz is a full drawer. We filled that drawer of quartz already. <laughs> um, everything else is kind of moving at their, their own pace because the different chickens produce at ch different speeds, right? Gold is probably going to be our nuisance, and that's one we're absolutely going to have to dip into Project D for help with, right? But everything else is cooking right along. And that's cool. So the only other thing we need to get now is drawer upgrades, which we can throw. Um, so instead of having a stack limit of 32, now you have 1,000, 2,000, 7,168. So 7,168. All right, that's not going to be sufficient, right? That's not going to be a sufficient amount of drawers. So we had some kind of barrel, like an infinity, a quantum storage, right? So we have those quantum storage units, right? And they have an EMC value, right? What if we used these guys? How many can they store? So like a number for how much these things store? I'm assuming it's a really big number, right? Is that a good assumption to make? I have some kind of axe. Can I have an axe? Thanks, Chief. Go away for a minute, because I'm about to have a big inventory mess. I don't know what your limit is. What is your limit, sir? Do you have a limit? Quantum storage from the quantum storage unit. Oh, there's the limit. I found it. I found the limit. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. So realistically, what I should probably be doing here is piping these things directly into the whatchamacallit, but we can handle that. Like we can put the thing here with the piping between it. So let me replace these all with quantums. All right, guys, so uh, we're getting there, right? That should be cool. Perfect. Okay. So that works, right? So so we've already got I wish it would just tell me the front number. I would that's what I would love. Is if it would could if it could tell me on the front what the amount was. Right? That would be cool, but I don't think you can. But that said, it stores a lot, and we can open up the UI to find out what it is. I just really liked it with the drawers. There's no, like, thing. There's no real thing. These all say keeps inventory when broken. I wonder if this does too. I don't know. Quantum bag from quantum storage. Yeah. I could do something 
with refined storage, by the way. By the by, I could do something with refined storage if I wanted to. Like, we could have, like, a 64K disk or something like that um, from refined storage. And, uh, you know, that would store 64,000 of each item, right? We could have, like, a storage block, a 64K storage block for each of these items. That would be cool. Um, and then we could have, like, I think there's a storage monitor, right? Is that it? That might be it. I don't know. That would show us. Eh, the, the important thing is, is that we're making it, right? We've already got a thousand of each. So that's actually not bad. If we realistically think about this, except for gold, which is the slow one, we've already got around, um, you know, a, a thousand or more of each of these block types. So getting the 11,000 that we need is not that hard. Thanks to watches, right? We've got three watches in this room. Like, really making the chickens go crazy, right? Gold is going to be the tricky one, but we've already got, like... I mean, it's about... I mean, it's slower, right? Because we've only got two of these guys. If we really wanted to ramp it up, we could have more chickens, but... Don't matter none. We're going to be cool. All right, next episode, let's come back. We will get um, what we need, by the way, of quantum storage units. And this whole time, this thing's been running, and I'm, I'm, I will not be surprised if this drawer, if this chest is almost full. Yeah, he's more than half. So I call that almost full. Uh, that's a stupid amount of EMC that we got right there, and it's hilarious. I love it. I love it. Having fun with this pack. Having a lot of fun with this pack. For now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. We will get all those blocks. We will turn them into the quantum singularity things. Uh, and I think once I get one iron singularity, right, these singularities don't have an EMC value. However, the pack author has assigned an EMC value to the infinity catalyst. So technically, I only need to get one of these, and then I can use EMC to get more. Technically. Um, the other thing I'm probably going to take a quick peek at down here. Hey, energetic sheep. How's it going? I did not know you were in here. Um... You, you're still running, right? Yeah, slowly but surely. You've got eight erodium crystals. <gasps> you're taking forever. Why are you taking forever? Why? Why you take forever and not get sped up by this thing? Like, the watch should really be speeding this block up, and it doesn't seem to be. And it always... I've, I've done this in other packs, so I'm not sure why the Void or Miner controller is not responding to tick accelerators. But we'll figure it out. Maybe never. For now, though, 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.